Good evening, it's Jim from Paints, Pots and Paper and Jot Journals Creations. Um, I haven't been here for a while, I've been busy doing things. Um, I've been over my son's, I went over there to stay for a few days and uh, I ended up staying a lot longer, um, which was really lovely. Uh, it gave me a chance to see my son and his wife, whom I haven't seen for a long time, and also my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren which was absolutely wonderful um but anyway i'm completely out of sync with whatever i was doing so um i think happy scrappy saturdays and all the rest of it are on hold for the moment until i get back into the rhythm of things um so what i'm doing for the time being is i'm going to pop on and just do whatever it is that takes my mind at the time, takes my fancy at the time. Um, uh, I can't just work on one thing at a time because I get totally bored. Um, not that I don't love what I do, but I still get bored with it. So I have to go off and do a bit of pottery or go and do a bit of painting or do the garden or whatever. So anyway, so what's... What's taking my fancy at the moment is I've been working on this um, journal that I'm making completely from bits and pieces that I've got in my stash, bits lying around me, um, just scraps, scraps and bits and pieces and odds and bods and goodness knows what else. <laughs> so, but I can tell you what, I'm enjoying this I think more than any other type of journal I'm enjoying it much more than a themed journal it's much more fun much more interesting so I may well make another one after this that's if I ever get this finished because I just keep on wanting to add more and then eventually it will go in my Etsy shop but now I'm thinking, well, perhaps it won't because I like it so much. But who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I'm just going to be working on this. And uh, what I was doing before I turn the camera on is... Um, what I'll do is I'll give you a very quick flip through. Uh, when it's finished, obviously, I'll show you completely. But um, you've seen it before, but I've added a lot to it now. And I've still got a lot to add because I keep finding things. Now I've made this um, journaling card. I haven't done any decorating as such. I'm still adding pockets and tags and things like that. And then I'll go through, decorate and put more lace. And I'll put a little bit of lace on here and there, but not what I'd normally do. But um, yeah, so anyway, so far I've added a little corner tuck here and this big journaling tag. Um, this is, I had some card and it had been sitting around for ages, I'll show you. And it was this, um, is it called, I don't know, satin, um, sort of sparkly card. And some of it is very pretty, but I liked the way the coffee came out on it. I did this, um, a couple of weeks ago and some bits are beautiful on this side. So what I'm doing is I'm covering this side and using that side as the writing side because it is just a shame to cover it up. So that's what I've been doing and, and so I've been using some of that card up, backing it and uh, putting a little tab on the top. And uh, so I'm gonna carry on using something because I wanna use it out and get it out of the way. It's been sitting around in my craft room for a very long time. Um, yeah, put this pearl something rather paper and I had it when I used to do card making anyway so I've done this I've have done a little bit of decoration here because I couldn't resist because I just this these this spread is a roses themed if you hadn't noticed I think the next couple of pages are and I've made this pocket let's get that out of the way and um I have decorated that one put a little stamp thing up in the corner and this was um this side I didn't know what to do on it so I decided to um collage it which I thoroughly enjoyed doing so we'll be doing some more of that 
Um, all I've done with you so far is a strip collage, but I've had a go at that now and enjoyed it, so I'll be doing some more of that. Um, yeah, and this is a beautiful... I had some pages left over from uh, a Stamperia uh, scrapbook, scrapbooking paper, and uh, and it was it's just so beautiful, isn't it? I think it was uh, House of Roses or something like that. And I've put this extra little rose on the front just to because it stands out a bit more. And there's some lace down there, and um, I hope that's not glaring too much for you. No, I don't think it is. It's glaring to me, but perhaps it's not to you. I hope not anyway, because they are a bit shiny some of these. Um, and here I've just made this this rose into a little pocket and made a little tiny tag to go in it. And this side, that's to be written on. Haven't done anything there yet, I plan to. I was toying with the idea of putting this pocket in that I made ages ago. I think it's made out of some Tim Holtz paper, but I'm not certain. Um, but yeah, that may well go in there. In fact, I think it goes quite nice after the pink page, doesn't it? So I think I'm going to have that in there and I'm going to put it in now while I think of it. And I don't know what my glue's like because it's had one of those steel, not steel, one of those other pins in. So I'm just going to get rid of the any manky looking yuck because it comes out all, <laughs> all horrible and brown, doesn't it? Doesn't look very nice at all. Let's just clean. I, I can't get uh, steel pins to fit into these little nib things. No, I can't get this in even to. Sorry about this, folks. It doesn't go in a minute. I'll uh, stop the camera. <laughs> I suppose I better see if I can see what I'm doing first. So, so yeah, I practice. That's it. That should have cleared it a bit anyway. Yeah, I can't seem to get the uh, stainless steel pins to. Oh. Okay. That's it. I think that's cleared it. Hopefully. Can't get the stainless steel pins to. Um, fit into this nozzle. Now I'm not going to put it down as another side pocket. <laughs> it goes my wiki lines again. I did come in and do a little bit of gluing, uh, made a couple of tags yesterday, and it was so hot. I mean, this um, art glitter glue dries quickly anyway, but it was drying virtually before I could get it, get the paper onto the page, if you know what I mean. It was terrible. We've had it really hot here. Uh, well, it's probably not hot compared to some of the temperatures in other countries, um, maybe wherever you are, uh, but for the UK, <laughs> it's been hot. We've been up in the 30s, I think we went up to about 34, maybe a little bit above um, yesterday, and I think the day before was just hot. We've had a bit of a run of heat. Um, today, at last, it has cooled down a bit. Um, it's been sunny and then it's been overcast, but it's still been very warm. And there's been a nice breeze, which helps a lot, doesn't it? That's it, that's that one in. Now I know it's in. And I've got to think of what I'm going to put in it and make a card or something to go in it. Um, not sure what I'm doing with that page yet. All that I thought I might keep that. It's just a little flower, and just says a cool conservatory. 
that needs um, covering with something and that, that definitely needs a bit of decoration or something on it. That I'm not sure what to do on that, I haven't decided yet. The other side I've made a little pocket and there's a butterfly so I've put another butterfly up there and one on the tag, made a little tag to match in. Um, I'm going to keep that page as it is because I think it's really pretty. That can be written on, so that's fine. That can be written on. This is a little page that you've seen with a pretty little tag in it. And that spread is all, um, as you can see, book themed. Go in. Um, yeah, that's just decorative. As is that, it's a nice little row. I'm not sure what I'm doing. That might lead to sleep writing. This is a little um, pocket with a writing space underneath and a little tag in it. Putting something on there, definitely. This is pretty. I'll probably leave that. I may leave that for writing. I'll put something on it. Um, not sure what I'm doing now. I might leave that. This has got to go in. It's uh, it's not being uh, glued in as such because I don't want to lose any of this page. I may well. I don't know whether I'm going to put it somewhere else or not, but yeah, really, it needs to go somewhere where I can actually glue it in because I don't want to cover that beautiful page up there. So I'm going to leave that out for a minute. <clears throat> this is the centre. And this has got a tag in it that opens up to a little notepad. And then that opens out. There's another pocket in there. Oh, I'm carrying it. Another pocket in there. And then there's a side pocket here that I've put a, made a tag and put in. So this is the pocket that I'm doing this tag for that's it so what I'll do is I'll stop there for now <clears throat> and get on with this glue this down so how is everybody today I hope you're all well and what your weather's like as the house has been very very hot but it um it was cooler last night. I had two, my two big bedroom windows open, wide. Um, and yesterday, I spent several hours, because it takes several hours, um, clipping my little dog Poppy. And uh, she's really, her fur was probably about three inches long, something like that. And it is now about half an inch all over which is great. She's lovely and cool. And a lot happier. She was getting to the point where she was just, she really didn't know what to do with herself. She <clears throat> she was laying down, panting. Then she'd get up, walk somewhere else, go and lay down again, panting. And it was just non-stop. She was like that the whole time. And at night, she my room gets quite warm at night, and she wouldn't sleep in there. She was sleeping on the landing, and then she was coming downstairs and sleeping on the hallway floor because it's uh, like a wood, just plain wood out there. So it's cooler. So yeah, she poor little soul. So I got the clippers out yesterday and put her up on the side in the utility room and got clipping. And uh, yeah, she's so much better for it. She's now running around and perfectly happy. No panting at all. So that, yeah, it's lovely to see. Right, so I'm just going to give that a little trim. And take the top of it off first, my scissors. So that I've got a straight edge to go by. Excuse my throat, it's gone very... <clears throat> very croaky today, I know it's croaky anyway, but 
even though I notice it when it goes really croaky. And so I think it's just the weather and sinuses and things like that. Enjoying the summer um, in the UK here. I know it's. I know the children are off school. There's summer holidays. children off here for their summer holidays so of course you're going to shops anywhere and there's millions of kids <laughs> slight exaggeration slight exaggeration there's lots of children running around screaming usually not all of them some of them are really good My parents trying to keep them in check but such is life, I know I had to take mine in the holidays. Excuse me while I have a sip of my drink. Sorry about that, it's a bit of a slurp, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah, I had all that in the summer holidays when mine were little. Although, and I know all, probably all mothers say this when their children are grown up, but mine literally were pretty well behaved. I was a single mum, so I, and I must admit I was quite strict. And they, put it aside, they didn't dare play out because, and I, I never used to tell them off in public, because I wasn't going to entertain other people. Um, because that's all it does, really. Um, I just used to say to them, well, we'll talk about this when we get home. And then they'd stop immediately. Because um, they knew I'd tell them off when, when we got home and I'd probably be sent to their rooms and not allowed out to play with their friends or one or the other. You know for that evening or that afternoon and uh, yeah they were very good they behaved themselves I was very very lucky I think they they did respect me and they took notice of me but uh, I think to an extent well it's just my opinion Children don't seem to have the same respect. Some of them do. Some of them are really good. But just some of them don't, do they? There you go. Such is life. No, it's not going to fit. Yes, it is. So I, I get round the children in the supermarket problem. I send my partner doing the shopping. <laughs> I say to him, well, I'm a bit busy. Can you go and get the shopping? And he, he raises his eyes and says, yeah, OK. He knows exactly what I'm doing. So. OK. It's good. I do love this spotty card that I made these um, tabs from, but I don't know where I got it. I think it was just in one of these little mixed 8 by 8 pads. I thought, well, I won't use that. Chop it up as tabs. And of course now, I wish I had more of it. Okay, I love this. love this dotty red card so it goes lovely in this um, <coughs> centre spread that's it that's 
that in there. I'm going to take that over. And carry on. What else do I need? I need um, this is a glue, glue pin. Half an hour later. No. Got it. Now, this is quite pretty, but I put a curly band there. This is from some this particular paper and that, well it's card. Uh, it was just some uh, jelly printing I was doing one day playing around and um, yeah, found a couple of scraps of it. I thought oh, that can go in as belly bands. So, as I say, I'm just gradually working my way through this um, and I need to make something to put in there. Or do I just want to fold something up and put it in there? Um, Got some Edith Holden here, but I think it's all just script rather than. I don't really know whether you could write on that. It'd be a bit confusing. Excuse me a minute. Gonna... Poppy, don't scratch, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. She, as you know, she will scratch the carpet for attention when she sees I'm doing this. Now, do I want to? No, perhaps I'll use that for something else. What else have I got I could put in there? Bobby. I'm trying to think what I can pop in there. Unless I make a card. I think I'll make a card. I know what I'm going to make. I know what I'm going to make for that. Let me just um, find a ruler. Get some measurements here. I've got an idea of what I want to do. So we'll see. Just let's try this out. Nice tight pocket, be right with it. Right. It's quite wide. So Just some little flippy pads that I made. So I'm going to do it about nine wide. And my page is just over 18. So let's say um, yeah, I'm not going to do any longer than 15. So about 15 by 9, I might go a bit narrower because it seems a bit tight, that pocket. So that's 15 by 9, I'm going to jot that down as I forget. Right, that's about 15 by 9. So, what have I got? How long is this piece? This piece, oh, it's I wonder if that will go in. You've got me know where I'm going with this. I'm going to have to sit down flat. I'll have to cover it, obviously. I'll take it, I'm going to take it the other way and cover the inside. And I'm going to put it in and bring it over as a... I don't know what it's called, this... Um, Flip a flip in a belly band, flipping belly band. Well, it is a flip in a belly band, so it's a flipping belly band. <laughs> now, I want to keep that really, don't I? To write on, so I need it this way. I'm going to cover the outside, I'll have the wider bit. Wider bit inside. Yeah, it'd be more stable, wouldn't it? Right, let's cover it. Cover it with, what have I got on this page? Florally. I don't think you can see that. Yes, you can. Um, yell if I'm out of camera. 
How long have I been here? Mm, too long. Right, I'm going to... That's really pretty, the colours. I've got this... This is some graphic 45. But now those colours would go nicely with those, yeah. It's going to be that. Because as you turn the page, this is only a little page, you know, and then narrow, you see some of that. So I want something that's going to correspond nicely. So, right, so we're going to have, let's get rid of that edge. Where's my big, oh, big trimmer? there and decorate their edges so you can keep them and use them. It's nice when the companies decorate those top bits of these. Oh, they're just brittle. Right. So we'll have that bit. Oh, I won't Yes, I will have to cover the back because it's going to going to come out. Mm, yeah, I was just thinking I won't have to cover the back, but being as it's in a belly band, I will. That's a nice colour on that side. I don't make life difficult for myself, don't I? So I'm muttering on. I'm sorry about that. Excuse my head. I was saying I do make life difficult for myself. Awkward. My mum always used to tell me I was cack-handed. I'm right handed but I used to have my not doing that one. My knife in my left hand and my fork in my right hand. Which of course should be the other way around. But, um, I do now have it in the other hand but it still seems odd to me. But, yeah, I never I never do things a sensible way first. No, it probably won't fit. Yes, it does. Don't be such a pessimist, Jim. So we're gonna. I did mark it there. Not, too. Not that worried about the top because I'm gonna be covering that anyway to strengthen it. <clears throat> and for some reason, my cutter doesn't want to stay up properly all the time now. I don't know what it's up to. There's my mark. <laughs> I made it, now I can't see it. Should have used a dark pen. There it is. Yeah. Pencil shines in the light, but sometimes you just can't see it. Well, I'm going to cut it there. I have to cut a bit off. It doesn't really matter, does it? Right, and I need a piece for the back. Which needs to be right way up because it will be seen the right way up. I'm going to once again take the edge. It's the longer piece I want this time. didn't get a dark pen, did I? Never mind. I see it. Yes, I can. I will see it.
goodness, it gets worse. What I'm thinking of doing, but I'm not so sure now, is um, doing a bit of uh, arty stuff. I don't know if anybody is interested. I am an amateur, uh, but I like to play around with the gel plate now and then, as you'll see if you look at a couple. I've done a couple of videos on it. Really pathetic. Really funny. I thought so. Um, but great fun. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing them. I love playing with it, but I don't really know if anyone's interested in seeing it. I did get lots of views for them. But for some reason, I've never done any others. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing me have total disaster with a gel plate. If nothing else, it'll brighten up your day. Um, and also perhaps a bit of uh, sketching and painting, which I'll do probably a uh, voiceover because you have to wait for things to dry. Oh, seagulls. I can hear some seagulls out there. We're quite close to the beach. We're about 10 minutes walk from the beach. And, um, yeah. Probably is this bit supposed to mean rain when they come a little bit further inland. I think we're about two miles from the beach, something like that. About two miles. Don't ask me what that is in kilometres, I haven't got a clue. But yeah, we're about two miles from the beach. And um, so we get the seagulls. And I better no, I'm put it in the wrong way like that. We get the seagulls and um, you can actually smell the sea. It's not a nasty smell, it's just like a fresh seaweed smell. Some days, which is nice. I was going to say, I hope that, often they'll say, if you if the seagulls come inland a bit, it might, it's going to rain. And I'm hoping it doesn't, because I've still got my washing out on the line. So, uh, hopefully before I, hopefully when I finish this, it won't have rained. Mind you, that could be tomorrow at my place, couldn't it? <laughs> I'd, uh, Great fun today! I had to, um, I had to repot my cacti, and I've got three, and they've always been in a pot together. All three of them, they, I got them all three together. They're in a little tiny, each one of them was in a little tiny one-inch pot. Now a teeny weeny little things. They came in this pack, three cacti in them, three different ones, and I just fell in love with them because they looked so cute. So I bought them, and this was about, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago. And um, obviously they've grown. Oh God, that one's not wide enough, really. Oh, it doesn't matter. It will work. It will look nicer. It sticks. Um, yeah, so about 10 or 12 years ago I got them. And uh, they've really grown. Uh, two turned out to be tall ones, quite tall. Um, as you know, cacti do take a long time to grow in here, but I hope that's going to seriously need trimming, isn't it? That's pathetic. Well, I'm going to trim it down because it's going to have to do. Um, yeah, um, The two bigger ones, I think one must be about a foot tall now, and the other one about, the one's over a foot, should I say, and the other one is about a foot. I don't think this is going to go there. Yeah. to do it separately on my bigger one. But, um, so... 
biggest one I call Colossus. And Colossus is... So I'm going to cheat here for a minute. Colossus is the big one, biggest one and he's uh, really, really got thick, sharp, very, very sharp needles on him. And um, the other one I call Titus. And she's got thick, thick needles, which are, they're thicker needles than glasses, but they're very sharp on the tips. And, um, <laughs> this is a cock up, isn't it? Excuse my French, but it is, isn't it? Notice once it's all decorated, she says, hopefully. Yeah, so Colossus is huge and very, very mean. And Titus, oh, look at that. I'm going to cut a bit more of that. It's got a wonky bit in the corner anyway, that's my excuse. I'm going to cut it to match this one, and I don't care. Cut it all to match, Jen. <laughs> it will be all right on the night. Give it the June slam. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> but it'll work and it's a junk journal so it doesn't really matter so I'm not going to stress over it yeah so I had to repot them and they've always been together so they all had to go into the same pot uh, the littlest one it is like a little chunky one that's about 8 inches high and I call that one shrimp shrimp has got all lumps and bumps and she's about yeah, about six or eight inches high, and she's just grown lumps and bumps on her. Titus is a foot, foot tall, and she's so far got four babies around her that are all now about three inches tall. And um, there's another one on the way, because when I lifted her out of the last pot, there was a baby just about to sprout through the surface, so I covered it up again. And left it like that so that will come through and Colossus hasn't done anything but grow I, I think he's one of those ones where um, they grow for so many lots of years before they actually have babies and things so anyway had to pot them and I had <laughs> rubber gloves I looked like I was in a, if you've ever seen the film Hostel where he's got the rubber apron and the rubber gloves. That's what I was wearing and they were up to here. And they were thick rubber. My partner got them from the power station when he worked there. And um, so I had to wear those and Col Colossus, his spikes even went through that. So um, yeah, that was fun and I had to lift him out. Remember his big boy, I had to lift him out and rest him on my arm while I got the rest of his roots out. And then I made a trench in the other one. I had to stand him upright. And oh dear. Absolute nightmare. But they look gorgeous. I've got all three of them in this great big wide circular terracotta shallow pot. And it's a beautiful big wide one. And they've got they're in there and they've got all gravel around them and they're spaced out and they look beautiful together. They'll always be together, those three. Yeah, I'm amazed at how they've grown. They've grown so much since I've got them. Right, so I think that will go in there. I'm going to pop something along the top. 
just to reinforce it a bit, I'm going to put some, um, I'm going to try some of this medical tape across the top. I think I prefer a bit of washy, really. Let's have a look, see what I can find some, some washy that will look okay on there. What have we got? Um, no music paper, so I don't want to put that on there. Excuse me muttering to myself. I should be used to it by now. Put that one on there. Or this wide one that's got books on it. Um what have I got here? Yeah, I think I might put some of this or no this one. Or green. Can't make up my mind now. I think that'd break it up a bit. What have I got here? Um I'm going to put a bit of the green for a reason. What time have I got? Not as bad as I thought. This is, uh, I'm sorry about this, folks. This is totally ad hoc. Um, as I say, at the moment, I, I'm a bit dis is it discombobulated? Um, and my mind won't settle on anything in particular so i found that at the moment it's best just to go with it if you know what I mean so I do apologise if it's driving you around the bend or boring you to tears uh, you can fast forward or turn off if you like um, Yes, I'm just going with the flow, so I haven't, nothing's planned. I'm just doing it as it comes in my mind. Yeah, disaster, but it will work out all right. It will be fine. I promise you that it will be fine. If I can ever get the uh, glue on the tape, that's what I was trying to say. At least it'll be down the middle. I'm going to take a bit along the sides as well, why not? Now I'm whispering to myself, that's scary, isn't it? It goes me too wide, but it's not, it doesn't quite go the width, but it doesn't matter. That looks quite pretty. And I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of putting a bit of lace along in here. Bear with me, I'm just going to go and get some lace. I haven't got the lace I want on my desk. Oh, sorry, I knocked you then. Are you still with me? Yeah, I think you are. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Knocked the camera. Now I think, um, which way did it go? I think it goes. Looks like the shiny side, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I think it goes the other way. I'm going to cut this a bit too, a bit wider than I want, so I do have enough. That's it. Yards of it, absolutely yards. Let's find the fabric tack. Look, all my clues have got the tops off. They're all sitting there without tops on. How wide is it? Shorter than the uh, tape. Oh, it's a fabric tax playing. Let me just check. 
Well, it's going that way. It's going that way whether it wants to or not. as far as I can get it to go. Just makes it look a bit prettier. That little something, just not sure what. Oops, get off. Now, better, better cover my fabric tag because um, that will lose out and I'll have it all over the place. And then I will not be laughing. on the inside as well. washi tape. I'm addicted to it. <laughs> Amongst other things like oops, um, I'm definitely addicted to washi tape. I'm addicted to stamps. I've, I must have a couple of thousand stamps. Um, I'm addicted to oh my god I'm so I'm so addicted to stencils. I've got so many stencils. I can't resist a stencil. I like using them too. Um, what else am I addicted? I'm definitely addicted to paper. We all are, aren't we? Everybody who does junk journaling is totally addicted to paper. But that's good. Um, my bank manager doesn't think it's good. But I do. Uh, yeah, um, I'm starting to get addicted to fabric. I never used to worry much about fabric, but yeah, that's becoming an addiction. Oops, go away. I'll give that a bit of an edge over this. That's it. Yes, um, washi tape is one of my addictions. No matter how many reels of wash tape I have, I still buy more and see more. Are you like that? Do you have to have it if it's pretty? Even though you've got loads. In my defence, I do use it. And I do use my stencils and I do use my stamps. I use everything that I've got. It doesn't sit in the cupboard, but some things sit there for quite a while. I've got a lot of uh, sprays, you know, the uh, cosmic shimmer sprays and things like that. Don't use them as often as I should. Um, 
got some art materials that I don't use as much as I should. But I'm trying to remedy that and I'm starting to drag things out and use them. Oh, that's got a funny edge on it. It's definitely a junk journal, isn't it? <laughs> Good evening, I'm going there, you say. I do I want to? I'm going to round the corners. Let's just pop that on there. And I'm sorry about this, I've got to put this in as well. I was going to save you the suffering, but I've decided it can't. Oh my god, look at that first time. The gods were obviously with me there. Let's get these corners off. And I think in true junk journal fashion I'm going to give it a quick inking. Inking. Uh, because it's inked. Raggy edge that keeps you know curling over a bit. I don't like that. That I think is a bit better. Yeah. Probably won't even be noticed, but. There you go, oh, that sits right in the middle. Brilliant. And that right at the bottom, I could. did that quite well. Well, the guesswork. Right, let's give it a quick inking. It does finish it, doesn't it? Although one of these days I'm going to make a journal that I don't ink. I've never done one that I haven't inked. Oh, I have, yes. I lie. I tell a lie. I did one, um, I think I've probably told you this before, but I did, uh, it's a traveller's notebook actually. Um, it was uh, Art Deco. And, um, sort of fashion and stuff like that and the papers I was using like a, a lot of mint coloured paper and pale lilac and that and pink and it was just so fresh and lovely I didn't want to ink it and spoil it so I did the whole lot without inking a single thing and it's it sold it was one of the first ones that sold out of the batch that I did sold straight away so that's got to tell you something hasn't it but all the rest sold as well, but <laughs> but the uninked one sold first. There, that's quite, I like that. I'm quite pleased with that, <laughs> even though it took forever. Sorry about that, guys. Should I sit down? Got a couple more minutes. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's something in that belly band now that's got that. That's fine as it is. And yeah, that's fine as it is. I think I might decorate it with a little something, but I don't know what... Um, also, I think that was tickling. So I've got shorts on because <laughs> it's been hot, and this string was tickling my leg. I thought I had a spider on me for a minute. Nearly screamed. Right, that goes there. That opens out. Then we've got that bit and that bit and that bit and that bit. And then this is a flap, and that's a writing on. And there, that's all okay. There's nothing on there as yet. 
And there's that. This is just decorative, and I might just leave it decorative. You've got to have some space, and here it is. Now, this I thought for writing on, but it, it needs something on it, doesn't it, really? Um, but I, I haven't got a clue what, what have I got, what have I got. Um, Oh, we don't want that. That's quite nice. I might um, phone camera. Yeah. Do you know I might just use that? It is a junk journal, isn't it? I'll use that to edge that page. And I think that can be written on in places and I'll put a little something up there. But yeah, that's going to edge that page and solve that problem. Hmm. Get very quickly with this now. I don't want to go. I don't know why I bother measuring because I still make a mess up of it, don't I? I'm not going to cut it off yet because I'm bound to cut it off. Wrong. <laughs> Until I'm in a mental mood. Well, not a mental mood, but I'm in a bit of a devil may care mood of, you know. Decided it's time not to worry anymore. Just get on with it, enjoy it. That's what the idea of it is, isn't it? To just enjoy it, and I'm waffling on like a shell shock budget. But I think that looks pretty on there. Let's get that out of the way before I chop that. It's the awkward as ever. I'm going the other way. <laughs> and around. It's still, still there. So I'm just waving my scissors to see if I can see myself. Yeah, I'd leave it there. More glue and a bit more trimming. Smaller scissors, I think. I think I do. I need smaller scissors, please. Love the sound these make. Let's do another little bit. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That, that piece. That just, it adds a little something, doesn't it? It's pretty. That's such a pretty colour. The colour, yeah, the colours go nice. It's just that when this flips over, it's not just music paper. This is a... I've forgotten what it is, actually. Oh, yeah, another flippy pocket. Or a flipping pocket, pocket. With a tag on it. Looks like it's coming loose there. Quickly put that back on. Oh, it's dropping off. I think the uh, card that this tag is made from. I love it with this like a ledger type thing on it. Um, it came out of a large scrapbook pad of some kind. 
Oops, I almost noticed it as well. I'll go around picking all my tabs up now, re gluing them, get paranoid. <laughs> go through the whole book, checking every single label and tab and paper. No, I'm not going to stop. No. <laughs> You can't help it, can you? It's just, you just, oh my god, you think it's all gonna, all gonna come up. Now, where was I? Oh, it's in here, wasn't it? Yeah, this is a flippy pocket that I made a long time ago that was in my ready made ephemera. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see that sparkle. But uh, yeah, it's really sparkly gold. Yeah, and I just sort of go pretty in because there's pink flowers there. That's lovely, and I love these paper clips. I've got this piece. Oops, let's pop that up there. This piece opens right out to write on. Journal on, shall I say. It's just, uh, I'm leaving that as just decorative, I think. Just a little vellum pocket and a tag there. Tag back in. Fill and pocket and a tag. Writing space. Haven't decided what's happening there. That's a writing space and a pocket. And a little fox tag in there. That came from a stamp area, I think. Oh, this I was going to put over here as a pinned, but it needs some um, some kind of backing on it. Or I could stencil on it. I may well stencil on it. But I won't do that tonight because I shan't keep you any longer. Nice little stamp here attack to go in there. And I've got a pocket there to put something in. This is a paper bag pocket. The same as at the front. With another big tag to go in it. And towards the end, I've gone to mushrooms, as you can see. And that side turn, I've just got to find something to do with that page. I've got to put a pocket there, I've got to find something to go in there. And uh, a nice big tag. And I thought the reds went quite nice and the yellows together. And that's the back, and that's how far it's got so far, folks. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. It's been really lovely having you here. And, um, yeah, sorry it's been a bit mishmash bits and pieces and that, but so it wasn't planned and I don't know what I'm doing next time. I may well carry on working on this. I may do something on a bee journal. I may work on something else totally different from all of it. So, anyway, thank you so much for being with me. It's been lovely to have somebody here with me as a company and um, hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry if I mutter a bit, it's just me. And uh, take care everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.